Welcome back, everyone. Twish is here, and I am back yet again for yet another DCAU video. And today I am very stoked. I didn't get this figure way back when, when it was initially released. McFarlane Toys X DC Direct brought him back along with the old man Bruce Wayne. I lucked out and put an order in at the Walmart app. It got delayed and finally got delivered. But this is the Terry McGinnis Batman from Batman Beyond. He is a Platinum Edition confused yet gold label figure that is hitting walmart store shelves even though i was told at san diego comic-con he is a target exclusive or at least he will be at target eventually fingers crossed we'll kind of have to wait to see how that all goes and we'll talk more about that later in the video here's everything on the sides of the packaging which is that glorious techno organica arts and that giant coloring book splash page of batman beyond and in looking at that artwork all over said trading card well of course there has to be five steps back here because who is checking this real name bruce wayne terry mcginnis is the 21st century batman from batman beyond this is schwarbage mcfarland toys you gotta pay attention it's important Here's the barcode. Like I said, mine came from the Walmart app. If you're interested in this figure, how it is, Walmart store shelves is the place to be until hopefully it starts going elsewhere and more on that as the months progress into the fall. But in the meantime, this is going to be an absolute blast. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot shway cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new reissue from the McFarland Toys XDC Direct DCAU line. Terry McGinnis, Batman Beyond. And so now here is Terry McGinnis all out of the packaging, and I will save you some time. If you can get a hold of one of these, yes, you will love it. However, the ones that collected it 10 years ago now, you're definitely in better shape. With the extra hands, they're totally cool. You got fisted hands, you got batarang throwing hands. Just be very careful with the hands because it's a very long peg to peg into the arm. You don't want to hit it wrong and snap it. He does come with two pretty much glorious Batman Beyond Batarangs. They could have been just a schmidge smaller, but that's awesome. I am so stoked because he comes with the appropriate hands. And you can do the whole, I'm throwing a Batarang. It just popped out of my wrist and I just threw it on Shriek's armor. And now he's deaf for the rest of his life. But you have the wings. Now, here's where I say that the older release is definitely superior because they did not paint the back part of the wings black. That is a major component of Batman Beyond. He has black and then the underside of the black is the red that you see. So I really wish they would have done that. The articulation is okay. I'm not faulting McFarland for this. They just reissued the figure from DC Direct, DC Collectibles. Is it cumbersome and ineffective in many ways? Yes. Is it okay? It's Okay, you simply just plug it into the Batman Beyond back right there and voila, his wings have popped out. But like I said, the back part of the wings should be black and then the underside is red. It is kind of an awkward design. I think I would have rather just had some non-articulated piece. I think it would have looked a lot better. All the various articulation poses like with how Bruce Timm's artwork kind of relates to action figures, it doesn't always look the best in keeping him aloft utilizing the stand or you could say the flight stand sure you can clip him in there and get him a going however there are no rocket boots that's an unfortunate element to this but just in kind of standing him doing the kind of opening crawl where he just flashes his wings and it cuts to the episode title that looks pretty cool and in utilizing the stand it's going to be that dc animated universe stand flat black it's got the post it really does the trick, so it's very good in standing this Terry McGinnis Batman Beyond figure. And like I said, I am so stoked to have this. This is a really cool representation of the character. It's a figure I have always wanted, and it's still not exactly there. It's not the perfect example just yet, but it is so much more light years ahead of what we got back in the day with the initial Hasbro figures. He has some... Pretty decent articulation. I'm not going to fault him again for that. It's a reissue. Be very careful with his big old Batman Beyond ears. They're very pointy, as is the gauntlets on the sides. Don't hit those wrong. Don't drop him. Don't let him fall over. Those will definitely snap. A Batman Beyond without a hole in his back 
and then the rest of the belt. So that would have been nice. And going forward, any company making Batman Beyond, do not put a hole in these figures' backs. No more of that. You got to figure out a different way to do the wings. The articulation, like I said, works out pretty well. Although I really wish you could have put his head a lot more back than it allows. Because of the way it's sculpted, the arms tend to go out more instead of all the way up. Single jointed elbows, the wrists, which I said when you swap them, swap out the hands, go very easy with those because of the extra long peg. He has a waist. He's got the legs. It's more of that antiquated sort of style, whether it's very segmented. He's got single jointed knees and then he has the feet. And like I said, while they will rotate and do all that great stuff. He doesn't have peg holes, and there's no attachments for the rocket boots. That would have been so welcome to go with said Batman Beyond wings. So now to really have you understand why this Batman Beyond figure means so much to me, in the totality of when I was a kid and Batman Beyond came onto television and Hasbro goes, we're going to make toys, and then fast food goes, we're going to make toys, the fast food toys were better. For those of you who know the ink, the keychain ink was the only representation of ink that we ever got as a action figure, quote unquote. Hasbro had so much wasted potential with Batman Beyond and the gimmicks and the weird things that they did, like this Joker robot. It's cool looking. These things were never on the show. So now to finally, and I mean like Finally, just to have Ace the Bat Hound, old man Bruce Wayne with a cane, and Terry McGinnis Batman. It's all I wanted as a kid. That's all I wanted. I would have played with those into the ground. You never did it. Thank God we got reissues now. And it is a lot of fun to see BTAS, TNBA, and now BB all thrown together. One large DCAU continuity. And for those of you out there that likes to mince my words, Static Shock is fine. It just wasn't my favorite cartoon, but I think we can all agree on how lame the Zeta Project was. And just to talk about recent potato phone photos that may have gotten out, which no, I'm not going to be reposting. Yes, come the fall, there might be a certain homage figure, wink, wink, to Batman and Beyond, hopefully hitting targets. Like I said, it's kind of all up in the air, but Right now, if you want this Batman Beyond we're talking about, Walmart's the place to be, and hopefully in the fall, he will show up again, along with something that looks like the one on the right. So, that's gonna wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys XDC Direct reissue of the Terry McGinnis Batman Beyond. It says what it says about the wings. I think the major thing, let's say articulation aside, I really wish they would have painted the backside of the wings black. The batterings are awesome, the extra hands are awesome, the stand, I'm very happy with it overall. And I'm just gonna have fun displaying these and just be stoked that after all these years, I have a really cool looking setup for Batman Beyond. But now, now we need to do the villains like Spellbinder and Ink and Shriek and False Face. Do them all, <laughs> I don't care. You could do Bane hooked up to that machine that's helping him breathe after years of doing Venom. I want it all. Batman Beyond is so flippin' cool. More Batman Beyond in this style, por favor. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DCAU. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, keep calm, remember your training, and I hope that each and every one of you that want this figure definitely can grab one, eventually. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.